Guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. The investing landscape has changed so much in the last 20 years. You get to come on and we get to share opportunities like this. And one of two things are going to happen. Either the stock is going to stay static, dissolve away, and be non-existent, or it's going to do what I believe that it's going to do and it's proven that it can do. Guys, appreciate you tuning in. This is going to be the number one stock buying opportunity here in 2022. For full disclosure, I am a stock owner in this company looking to share the awareness piece to this uh, company because it is a fly under the radar company. Legislation is being pro proposed as we speak to embolden the renewable natural gas and compressed natural gas initiative to drive us away from what has been a fossil fuel dominated past here. I am talking about Hylion Holdings. Hylion Holdings has been a publicly traded company for the last couple of years. It came public via SPAC process to provide itself its funding to uh, progress along its business plan and it is doing just that in what I have considered to be one of the worst times to come public for a company like this that has been subject to the global pandemic, the global, the global conflict, as well as the global supply chain issues that have really hindered this company's ability to really progress along its initial timelines. But it's been doing amazing things. It has built out its team. The company is right now valued at about $800 million. I do not expect it to remain there very long. When it was turned out into the public marketplace, the stock incurred some initial hype, went all the way up to $58, and it has been on an absolute free fall, coming back to earth, burning investors up and down, and it has really, really scarred a lot of investors out there. Investing does not have any sympathy for that situation, none. There is no investing uh, emotion. And I know as cliche as that sounds, you've got to buy into that philosophy. If you're new to this opportunity, you'll be the one to identify with this uh, opportunity with the stock below sub five. Last couple months, the stock is up 68%. I repeat again, the stock is up 68%. New legislation has probably been the single biggest catalyst to push this company that is still achieving and in the final stages of winter validation for its product to step into CARB and NHTSA, that's the EPA certification that is necessary to be turned out in over the road transport, all right? But he here's the irony, guys. Mass commercialization should happen in the back half of 2023. Somewhere from now until then, there is going to be initiative to move this company and move it in a big, big way. The legislation that I speak of that is so bullish for this company that has moved the stock so aggressively over the last couple months and nobody's talking about it is number one, the tax incentives for a dollar equivalent of renewable natural gas and compressed natural gas to be provided at the pump uh, by producers and consumers alone, all right? This is a bill that is set to go into effect at the end of this year to provide for that $1 of equivalency, all right? Now, for you guys that don't understand the natural gas that is available across this country is available at existing infrastructure in the tune of about 730 fueling stations, okay? Now, renewable natural gas can be piped through existing infrastructure. There are initiatives right now for our farmers to establish uh, these, um, these renewable natural gas producing plants to be able to leverage this highly valued and underutilized resource to power what has initial or on the onset and historically been dominated by a diesel uh, uh, past. Now, this has generated the number one polluting industry, and that is our class eight trucking and logistics space, guys. Here's the thing, the companies are willing and, and they are on board and chomping at the bit for this technology to change their reliance on diesel. And there's a lot of factors at play that has driven that interest. Right now, diesel having come off of its record highs is still historically high at about $4.25 per gallon of diesel. Guys, this cost cannot be ignored. When a new diesel truck is bought for around $150,000, you could expect 
close to two and a half times that amount over the total cost of ownership over seven years to be running that rig for just the fuel that will go into powering that rig, all right? Now, Hylion produces what is going to be a, a real force in the commercial Class 8 space here. It can increase payload capacity by about $35,000 over that same TCO period, okay? It can actually reduce our dependency to fossil fuel, and it can actually increase the driver comfort, the driver experience, by keeping them in the truck that they become accustomed to owning. And you might say, well, how are they going to do that? Hylion has been partnered with and has announced over the course of the last couple of years that they will be partnering with Peterbilt. For you guys that have been sleeping under a rock for the last hundred years, Peterbilt is a player in the space, and they are going to use their popular brand of Peterbilt truck to actually put the Hypertruck ERX system in and make available to the fleets. Now, the second piece of legislation that is key in understanding why this opportunity is so critical to understand now and get in before the hype starts is the mandate for the fleets and the OEMs to not only purchase a, a certain percentage by 2025 of electric vehicles, those that actually lower their carbon footprint within their respective businesses, as well as the OEMs to be mandated to turn out a certain percentage of those fleets that have to be electric. Hylion will qualify for uh, these incentives and mandates and has the very flagship product that will supplement this need within the industry. Now, something that has just transpired just this week that is exciting enough, if there's not enough excitement going on around this movement, I'm excited. The stock market's not excited. The 68% of upside appreciation has done so silently, silently. And when I talk about the beauty of sharing information through social media, you're getting a taste of that right now. But the new legislation, the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, aims to put about a $328 billion bill on the new initiative to combat climate change. Why not go after the number one polluter on this earth? I stress again, why not go after the number one polluter on this earth, which is the trucking space, and they have done so to provide for tax incentives in way of a $40,000 credit on the initial cost to purchase these alternative fuel solution vehicles, which uh, the Hypertruck ERX is just that. It is powered by a compressed natural gas and in better cases, renewable natural gas where available. They will be provided a $40,000 tax credit off of the uh, initial bill on the onset. Now for you guys that are confused about this, the cost of ownership for a diesel vehicle is realized over the course of the life of owning that vehicle. So where the initial onset cost may be less than the new technology, you quickly reach that happy medium where you start to lose money over the long term by being subject to the high cost of diesel over time. Whereas the Hypertruck ERX is completely different. You pay for that technology up front only to realize that benefit the longer that you run the unit. Now that $40,000 tax incentive is taken right off of the front. That is right where owners and operators are being asked to actually incur the cost of the new technology on the onset, and they're able to take that $40,000 and reduce that initial cost. Now what that means for the bottom line, the seven year total cost of ownership pushes up from about 35% for fleets to around 44%, guys, that is awful close to 50% savings per unit when compared, uh, cross compared between the Hypertruck ERX unit and the cost savings uh, when compared to the actual diesel unit uh, per unit sold for the fleets, guys. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention, give you the weekly update on what I feel like is the most exciting opportunity right now. I'm going to continue to double down on this opportunity where I feel like I can put this on a plane. Once other channels start to talk about this, I will probably stop talking about this, okay? I'm not a bandwagon player. I'm the only one putting out a content like this to insist upon the urgency, all right? The time has passed between the uh, stock bottoming at $2.65 uh, 
Uh, and now just approaching that $5 mark where most of the price targets on this company by the moronic analysts that cover this company have it set at $4. There's going to be revisions and there's going to be massive revisions to the upside. I only do this to share the very opportunity that I identify with the groundswell that is going on and the momentum building on this company to be looked at right now on Hylion.com, ticker symbol H-Y-L-N, Hylion.com is the source of all the information you can find on Hylion Holdings, but I don't think there's ever been a better uh, opportunity within the last 10 years to really take a, a advantage of these companies that are providing a solution for the Class 8 trucking space that transports our goods from point A to point B and to do so and be good for the environment. Guys, if you appreciate the message, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, subscribe to the message, and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of future videos that I put online. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the totality of this video, and good luck in your investment future.